Hi guys, Marcus here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update October 19th, 2019 edition. Make sure to watch till the end where for your convenience, I do a recap of all the dramas with premiere dates and there are quite a few. In this edition, Love is Fate and No Secrets premiere and someone claims that Wang Yipuo is unprofessional. But first, The Love by Hypnotic is a costume drama starring Ellen Fang and Ling Mei Shi and it premiered on October 14th. It tells the story of a prince and princess who are stuck in an arranged marriage. They bicker at each other non-stop but things change when they try hypnosis. Alan Fang recently had supporting roles in The Legend of White Snake and Queen Dugu. The Love by Hypnotic is Ling Mei Shi's first drama. Such is the insatiable thirst for costume dramas. Although this is a web drama and pretty much has a rookie cast, it is trending right now in many Chinese speaking parts of the world. As far as I know, it's the only costume drama to premiere in the past couple of months. The drama is available on YouTube, no English subs yet though. And if you're watching The Love by Hypnotic and have taken a liking to its lead actor, Alan Fang, well it just so happens that he has another drama playing at the moment, Childhood's Sweetheart's Pianist. Childhood Sweetheart's Pianist is a modern romance drama starring Jing Wenxing and Alan Fang and it premiered on October 17th. The drama tells the story of a girl who is terrible at playing the piano but is determined to win a competition. She enlists the help of an old crush who has an obsessive compulsive disorder when it comes to music to help her. Jing Wenxing is another relatively new actor. She's only done one other drama before this. Childhood Sweetheart's Pianist is available on YouTube and Youku, no English subs at the moment. Love is Fate is a modern drama starring Vin Zhang and Zheng He Huizi and it premiered on October 16th. After four costume dramas in a row, Ten Miles of Peach Blossoms, The King's Woman, The Flame's Daughter and I Will Never Let You Go, Vin Zhang swaps ancient for modern garb in this light-hearted rom-com. Zheng He Huizi plays Ma Ke Ai, a hotel heiress who after surviving a near-death accident is gifted with the ability to foresee a person's future simply by touching that person. However, that ability also comes with splitting headaches, that is until she meets dashing hotel employee Xia Yuxing, played by Vin Zhang. The drama uses on-set dialogue recording instead of overdubbing so we get to hear the actors' real voices, which is a great start. The lead characters have a love-hate relationship and share moments of connection as well as misunderstanding. It is all encapsulated in this scene in the first episode where they meet on a plane and I think it sets the tone for the drama moving forward. Love is Fate is available on YouTube, no English subs at the moment. For many of these dramas that don't have English subs, you can check back later because some of them will have them eventually. If not, then you can check other platforms like Viki to see if they're available there. No Secrets is a modern drama starring Ting Han and Steffi Chi and it premiered on October 17th. Jing Han plays a man who can read people's inner thoughts and Steffi Chi plays an impulsive lawyer in this remake of the Korean drama I Hear Your Voice. The drama tells the story of a young girl who testifies in court against a man who tried to murder a young boy. Years later, they're all grown up and the man seeks the girl from his past to thank her and protect her. Maggie Huang, who played the heinous Su Jing in Ten Miles of Peach Blossoms, has a supporting role as a rival lawyer to Steffi Chi's character. Jing Han recently starred in Our Glamorous Time with Cao Li Ying, whereas Steffi Chi starred in Women in Beijing and I thought she did an excellent job in that. No Secrets is available on YouTube, no English subs at the moment. And now an update from the drama Legend of Fei starring Cao Li Ying and Wang Yibo. Actually, this is not really an update, more of a rumor that's come from the set of the drama. I generally leave rumors alone, but this one was strong enough to cause the Legend of Fei production to release a statement, so I thought I'd share with you guys what happened. Apparently, someone who claimed to be Wang Yibo's stand-in has accused Wang Yibo of being unprofessional on set. 
For those of you who don't know, a stand-in is someone who stands in for the actor while the crew sets up the shot. So generally what happens is the director, the director of photography, and the actors will get together and figure out what the shot will look like where the actors will walk from and to, which way they will face, etc. And once they figure that out, then they'll set up the lights and everything else. They can't have the actors stand around while they do that. It could take over an hour. So they have stand-ins stand in their place. So this stand-in allegedly said that it was too tiring to stand in for Wang Yipo and that Wang Yipo acted like a big shot and would only arrive half a day later, causing everyone to wait for him. Let me just say as someone who's never been on that set that I'll never know the truth, but I do find those claims hard to believe. I have my reasons, but before I get to them, The Legend of Fate production has come out on Weibo to refute those claims. They said, 1. Since Legend of Fate began filming, all cast members have maintained a serious and responsible attitude. 2. All cast members of Legend of Fate are very diligent, dedicated, and professional. Regarding Wang Yipo acting like a big shot and other rumors, they are all baseless. Please don't believe it and spread it. 3. Respect every actor. Don't let rumors kill their dedication and hard work for the shoot. This is a great move from production to support Wang Yipo and to quell rumors. But to be honest, even if they didn't do that, I'd still find these claims hard to believe and here's why. It would be incredibly dumb for a stand-in to say something like that while the show is still filming. Not only will he get fired, but he'll probably get blacklisted from the industry for a while. I don't think Wang Yipo has gone this far in his career by making bad decisions. And I highly doubt he'll make a bad decision like this to be unprofessional at this stage. This is his first big show opposite a proven A-lister and when it comes out, it will be a big deal. Cao Liying is his senior and I doubt he will keep her waiting around for half a day for no good reason. It is very possible that he arrives late to set once in a while. All highly sought after actors can have that problem. His management company is known to be one of the worst in China in terms of overbooking their clients. If that is the case, I think it's not really his fault. It's something that his management company has to sort out. When Wang Yipo was doing The Untamed, he was also hosting the Chinese talk show Day Day Up among others and doing voiceovers for animations at the same time. I mean, talk about having a crammed schedule. Anyways, this whole unprofessionalism thing could very well be purported from a rival fan base who are trying to create negative vibes for Wang Yipo. We all know this kind of thing happens all the time in Chinese entertainment. I've mentioned it in a previous video. And now a quick recap of all the dramas with premiere dates. The Love by Hypnotic premiered on October 14th. Love and Fate premiered on October 16th. Childhood Sweetheart's Pianist premiered on October 17th. And No Secrets premiered on October 17th as well. And they're all available on YouTube, but no English subs yet. And that's it for today, guys. Do check out my Patreon page where you can find perks to being a patron. The link is in the description box below. This show will not be possible without your support, whether it's through Patreon or simply by watching, liking, and subscribing. Thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Cheers!